What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the strongest brawler titan in the game. Look at what little chance that kid down there has. I'm in stealth with the new Muromats Titan and I delete the guy with those uh, brawling weapons, Vengeance and Retaliator and Antimatter Reactor all the way. This video, ladies and gents, is recorded on a, le a recent test server session and the point is to explore the brawling capabilities of the new Titan Muromats. Where's my music? There it is, sorry. And um, yeah, to just find out how strong this thing is going to be in a one-on-one, -on -one, for example, against other titans. Spoiler alert, I'm going to delete everyone <laughs> on this map, okay? And this video is cut as a super cut with all the vengeance and retaliator moments on this thing together. So sit down, lean back, and enjoy the show, ladies and gents. But first, explore millions of champion combinations, master countless tactics, and take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and arena matches in Raid Shadow Legends. Use my QR code here on screen or the links down below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Today I want to present you my top 5 most favorite champions that I summoned and that I use in battle myself regularly. First we have Horden, a tough knight that strikes multiple times and gets an extra turn every time he gets a killing blow. Second we have Sinesha, my best healer with a mass heal and an attack that also automatically heals the most wounded of my group. Then we have another support champion, the Orcish Shaman, who can revive a fallen ally in battle and deal a ton of damage herself. And then we have Hope, a really tanky leader that can protect your entire party with a shield that has saved me already so often. And lastly, the Necro Hunter, a master with a bow and arrow firing multiple shots at the enemy and sometimes even at multiple opponents at once. And here's something I really enjoy about Raid. Summoning, leveling and equipping champions isn't everything. You can further upgrade their stats and unlock new skills by ascending them. You can also upgrade skills individually using skill books, for example, and you can upgrade their ranks, allowing them to reach higher levels up to level 60. The amount of customization is really endless and you will always find a way to make your champion better in battle. Raid is also packing loads of new content to kick off this summer. Brand new champions and a new rotation for the Doom Tower. And that Doom Tower, guys and gals, that's where you'll find the ultimate challenge. And if you want to test yourselves, then come follow me into Raid and check out that Doom Tower. And here's the best way how to do it. See that inbox button here in the top right corner? This is where new players will find their awesome welcome pack once they start playing Raid using my links down in the video description and pinned comment or the QR code here on screen within the next 30 days. Because then you'll get next to important resources this amazing new epic champion Shonoru who's pretty good at the Doom Tower by the way. So uh, don't wait any longer, get in the game and find me under the name Manny G. So here we are deleting more and more titans from the enemy battlefield or from the battlefield. Look how much damage the Retaliator and the Vengeance have. Even an Arthur is not a problem for this Titan, believe it or not, because you have stealth. So let me just reload and prove this to you guys. I already deleted an Ao Ming, I deleted a kid who didn't stand a chance, and now we're gonna delete an Arthur like it was nothing, okay? Uh, and that's all because of the fact that we have stealth, which is such a powerful ability to be having on a Titan, right? My ability is currently deactivated, here we go. Accelerated the game, uh, the firepower, here we're coming up. Unfortunately, I lose my lock on for a second. I'm too close and now look at this the Arthur shield is going down so fast Or I simply bypass the shield and shoot on top of him. No problem, right? An Arthur used to be the most impossible to kill thing ever But with this much firepower on a stealth Titan you can really go through that shield Or above the shield if for that matter, which we also kind of did right there The interesting thing is also though that enemies can counter it if they run Quantum Sensor, oh man, I'm taking a lot of damage from the enemy uh, Mugomets, and then he just exited the battle for some reason, weird. Um, the firepower of those brawlers is insane, but remember, other titans can do that with you too. They can counter you by using Quantum Sensor, so if you get this close, 350 meter or less, their Quantum Sensor can detect you and they'll be able to kill you anyways, right? Or at least shoot back at you then it's gonna be an even brawl when they can see you. So ladies and gents, if you like this video here, uh, the fact that I'm cutting this together and giving you the best moments just without getting the Titan, but actually already having it when the round starts, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't done that yet, also hit that notification bell. That would be really amazing. Here, we're brawling down the next guy with these strong vengeance and retaliator weapons. It is insane how much firepower we have on those things. And we can delete enemies before they even make it into flight abilities and whatnot. Dude, this is crazy, okay? I really love and always did like the, uh, the vengeance and retaliator. I like machine guns in general. I also like punishers on robots. But now, with uh, on a titan that cannot be taken down so easily by other titans, 
and then having a good angle on the enemy, you can do so much damage without actually allowing the enemy to deal, deal much damage back to you, right? And that's the crazy thing about this. Look how I'm deleting everything with this. Every robot, every titan, everything gets completely deleted from this new robot called Muomets with brawling. Of course, you could put... Uh, oh, wow, look, almost 3 million damage. You could also run the shotguns on it and go really close. However, I'm not so sure if the shotguns would be the ideal choice because uh, the Muromets is rather vulnerable when he gets caught without his ability. And I personally prefer to have some distance between me and the enemy. So the brawling uh, machine guns, in my opinion, are the better option uh, compared uh, in, in really compared to the shotguns in my in my opinion of course you could also try and test cyclone and cataclysm because they would be insanely powerful at range and they would be very very powerful at uh, uh, at short range too even more powerful arguably right so yeah the enemy is gonna spawn the kid now this was the moment you have seen in the brief intro se sequence uh, I'm gonna be ready and I know I will kill him. I know he's not gonna chance, stand the slightest chance. All I need to do is start to fly, accelerate my firepower in advance so the weapons do the full firepower. And he can't do a thing. I'm in stealth, he can't hit me, and he's taking all this insane Titan DPS now here uh, and uh, stands no chance. And then he gets killed by a regular robot in the end because I left him with 1% HP. Awesome! So uh, I'd really like to hear you guys' opinion on this new Titan. Uh, it is a really, really powerful monster. Uh, however, it can be countered with Quantum Sensor, so I'm not quite sure. By the way, in case you didn't know the ability that he has, the, the other uh, uh, ability is an EMP burst that basically, um, and similar to the Noden Suppression, everyone in the area where you'd aim it at uh, gets uh, his ability deactivated and his active module. So people won't be able to face shift and people won't be able to cloak or anything like that, right? And you cannot see the shot coming. However, it has a little delay. Let me delete the next Titan here. The Ao Ming, no chance whatsoever, right? But he does have Quantum Sensor. Look, I entered the 350 meter range arc. Turns out he actually has Quantum Sensor, but it oh, it oh, activates too late and he's already destroyed, right? And this guy is gonna activate his stealth now and he's got the new weapons, uh, Kisten and Bulava, which are basically heavy Titan Vortex. Look at this, bam, bam, and I'm taking so much damage from him, man. I got absolutely zero chance against the guy. And that's the crazy thing, man. He deletes me so hard, I've got zero chance. If you want to see the video, ladies and gents, where I test the Bulava and Kisten on Ao Ming or on the new Muromets Titan, then check out in the top right corner. There's two videos linked for you or also in the video description and pinned comment where I will have some videos linked for you as well uh, next to the other links, right? Um, uh, where I let you get a direct link to uh, the videos from the test server with uh, these other weapons or robots in use. And we're back on Carrier now, testing again the uh, the machine gun version and doing, a, I think, overall, see that the Titan is smaller. Have you noticed that the Muomets is smaller in size compared to an Ao Ming, for example, or, uh, or even an Arthur? That means you can hide behind cover better as well. And you have all your weapons mounted on the top position of your robot. So one thing that the Muromets will be really good at is uh, firing from cover and not exposing himself to enemy firepower while doing so. This guy is going to start to fly immediately. That was not a surprise because I hit him with lots of firepower right there. But don't worry about it. We're going to get him down. Okay, so uh, let's just wait for it for a little second. And then it's going to happen. Then it's gonna happen. All right, whoa, 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 somebody's coming on the beacon. All right, let me take the care of this first. This is, however, not a... Vi By the way, this is not a super long video here. I've recorded three or four really good moments, but look at this guy. He's coming out now, uh, but he didn't have his stealth ability ready. So, big mistake, my friend. You should not have left your cover right there. Not without your ability ready. Because uh, I think he underestimated the brawling firepower from these weapons. He thought, ah, it's just the machine guns. He's not going to be that dangerous. But, in fact, those machine guns are among the most damage output weapon that exists in this game at 500 meters. I'm actually, I, pre I think that's even the case. I think that's not like this. I think it's actually factual the case that at 500 meters range, there's nothing in the game that does more DPM or damage per minute or per second than the machine guns do. The Cataclysm and Cyclone doesn't do this much damage at that range. It does do more damage at short range, but not at this range. Here, another victim. Look at this guy. 
He's coming in and he's in the open and I'm in stealth now. He can't do a single thing about me, man. He gets completely deleted. Uh, unfortunately, he's got a, a hawk uh, with backup that attacks me. Um, but still, we were able to put, almost kill the entire Ao Ming right there. And without his healing, I think we would have actually taken him down. Let's help out down under the corridor there. Wait, is he still alive? Hold on. Yeah, he's still there. What the heck? Die. Bye-bye, dude. Okay, so let's move forward a little. Okay, Ao Ming. Ah, he sees me. He sees me. He's careful now. Um, I don't actually remember how this ended because I recorded this yesterday. I don't remember how this... Ah, okay, that's how it ends. Okay, he got deleted by uh, Gendarme and uh, Kurasir. Getting a quick kill right here from the enemy. What is that? A shell robot? Yep, it was a shell. And doing tremendous damage at the shotgun version of, uh, of the enemy. R look at this. Look how much damage he's taken. He's got the shotguns and he he's taken so much more damage than I did from those weapons. However, one problem I did not expect. He has quantum sensor. He will counter me and I can't counter him. Look, he can see me perfectly and shoot me. And I cannot do the same with him. So this is how he deleted me easily right here. Uh, but ladies and gents, I think this shows that the um, that the new type Muromets with brawling weapons may actually become one of the most dangerous things in the game once this hits the life server. Imagine fully maxed, um, maxed modules, maxed weapons, everything maxed, and then running either shotguns or this, or even Cyclone and Cataclysm. When even an Arthur doesn't stand a chance at this range, then imagine how how this would look for like a Kit or a Nodens or something when they can't suppress you because you're stealth. You'll delete them so fast, you're gonna do so much damage. It's so crazy. Going forward here to the next Titan situation. Here is another Titan getting... Well, actually, wait, that wasn't a Titan. That's a Titan right there. The firepower is just ridiculous, right? And that's really what makes this probably one of the most dangerous setup that currently exists in this game or at least it existed on the test server for a little while and I wanted to test this and I did so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and uh, if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for being with you guys awesome as always Manny signing off bye bye and don't forget to check out the links in the top right corner or the video description as well right so uh, see you guys around in the next one Manny off Bye. Oh, let's take him with us first. There we go. Bye.